आज ही डाउटनेट ऐप डाउनलोड करें डाउटनेट पर होगा अब आपके सभी मैथ्स केमिस्ट्री फिजिक्स और बायोलॉजी डाउट का सफाया बस अपने क्वेश्चन की फोटो खींचो उसे क्रॉप करो और तुरंत वीडियो सोल्यूशन पाओ डाउनलोड नाउ इन दिस क्वेश्चन द सिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ द स्लोप ऑफ रिग्रेशन इन अ स्पीशियस एरिया रिलेशनशिप सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट्स ट्राई टू फाइंड आउट वॉट अ स्पीशियस एरिया रिलेशनशिप इज वी नो दैट वेरी रिच बायोडाइवर्सिटी और अ वेरी हाई लेवल ऑफ स्पीशियस रिचनेस इज फाउंड इन आर बायोस्फेयर ऑन आर अर्थ दैट इज मेनी डिफरेंट वेराइटीज ऑफ फ्लोरा एंड फोना प्लांट्स एंड एनिमल्स आर टू बी फाउंड बट वेन वी थिंक अबाउट the distribution of this biodiversity it is obviously not uniform throughout the world it's not as if whichever region we look at the same number of species density can be found there therefore we try to study the patterns for distribution of biodiversity around the world and for this very purpose we try to find out the relationship between species and area that is if we increase the observed area how does species richness or biodiversity change along with it so a german naturalist called alexander von humboldt took steps in this direction throughout his life he explored the wilderness the jungles of south america and to find out the relationship between species richness and area he plotted a graph on which here we are taking the observed area and here we consider species richness so in such a graph we find that if we make such a comparison we will observe a rectangular hyperbola and what is the equation that can be used to describe this here we can say s which is species richness is equal to c a to the power z here a is obviously the area under observation s is species richness c is our y intercept in this graph and z is the slope of the line which we can also call our regression coefficient so this is the term which we have to consider here in the question we are being asked about the slope of regression that is z which is the slope of line or regression coefficient as we discussed it so it is a part of the equation to describe a species area relationship when we plot a graph taking species richness and area into consideration we observe a rectangular hyperbola and the equation can be given as species richness equals to c a to the power z and if we take the same values on a log scale that is log s is equal to log c plus z log a then we will observe a linear relationship using these logarithmic values but in any case the symbol z here is very significant why because when you want to find out about the pattern of distribution this z gives us some stability this z is a constant which we'll find always to be in a particular range the value of z is mostly going to be between 0.1 and 0.2 and whatever kind of observation we are making suppose here we are talking about not the absolute but the species richness in a particular taxonomic group suppose we want to find out only the biodiversity of amphibians in a particular area or the observed area can also vary suppose we want to find out the biodiversity in a single city in a state or in an entire country so the surprising thing over here is that the value of z that is the slope of regression is always going to be within this range itself so this shows there is some kind of balance to be found when we think about the relationship between species richness and the area under observation and this value of z goes out of this range only when we increase the observed area to very large 
regions such as if we consider an entire continent then this value might change otherwise whatever area we are considering and whatever taxonomic group we are considering in a species area relationship z will remain in the range of 0.1 to 0.2 and that is the significance of this term in a species area relationship क्लास सिक्स टू ट्वेल्थ से लेके नीट आई आई टी जेई मीन और एडवांस के लेवल तक 10 मिलियन से ज्यादा स्टूडेंट्स का भरोसा आज ही डाउनलोड करें डाउट नेट आप या व्हाट्सएप कीजिए अपने डाउट्स आठ चार सौ चार सौ चार सौ पर